Hi friends, welcome. My name is Michelle, if we don't know each other already. This is our weekend flow. Uh, a short and sweet flow today to move through the hips, the spine, uh, open up the heart space a little bit. Just a little bit of everything <laughs> to feel good. Um, always want to give you a heads up when we're moving around the mat, which we will be today, um, just facing in different directions. So. If you wanna make sure you can see the screen, you might, you might just wanna orient um, to know that. Um, we'll take just a few moments of stillness before we move and also at the end of our practice to settle and center, yeah? So um, when we move together, it'll be from a seat, but in this moment to arrive on the mat, um, be in whatever shape feels good to you. It might be a child's pose. You might be seating, uh, sitting in a chair. You could lie down. <laughs> Just take a couple of moments to tune in. Mm, to feel yourself supported by the earth below. to feel your lungs expand into supportive space that comes back to meet you as you exhale. And if there's a particular intention, a reason that you've come to the mat, you might settle that now into your breath into your bones so that all these shapes can be about that. And then an opportunity also to amplify breath and intention, amplify the space between us with the sound of OM together. Whatever shape you're in, find an easy breath in and a full breath out. And then toward OM, a breath in. Allow that resonance to stay in your awareness. Let your breath expand until you find some movement. Whatever stretch, whatever reaching, rolling will feel good in this moment. As we come toward a seat, and to start with, you want to sit with um, both feet on the floor, about the width of your hips. Yeah. You can hold on to your shins to stay tall to start out with. And our goal here is to move this little bit of a mobility exercise. Our goal is to move uh, hands free, but if you need to bring your fingertips to the earth behind you or to the side, um, feel free to do that. So we'll begin again by sitting tall. So press down through your feet and your sitting bones and sit a little taller through your crown. Find a breath in. And as you exhale, send both knees over to the right. And then adjust your distance so that your left thigh kind of snug into your right foot. And then this is where your feet are gonna stay at that width as we move. So stay here, just let your left hip settle down toward the earth, let your crown keep reaching tall. Use an inhale to come back through center. Still your feet are rooted, but your knees come up toward the ceiling. And then when you exhale, bring your knees over to the left. And again, we'll stay for a breath, just settling that right hip down. Inhale through center. Sometimes it helps to push your palms together. And exhale over to the right, just to give you a little leverage, a little something to grip. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left. 
from here, you can either keep that tick-tock going side to side or add on, hug through your legs, press through your left shin and lift your hips off the earth and then back down. Up through the center and over to the right. Hug in and down to lift up off the earth and then back down. Once more to each side or probably twice if you're not lifting. But the next time that you land to the right, stay there. And look toward the top of your mat or your mat area. Place your hands there, tuck your toes behind you on the left foot and step back toward downward facing dog. And most of the time in that exercise, we sort of scooch forward. So if that's happened, recenter yourself as you need to. Yeah. Let find this first Haramukha Svanasana. And let it settle a moment to notice again where you're supported. Where you might be able to breathe a little more freely. And where you can hug towards center. So in your arm bones, in your legs, your belly toward your spine. Keep that hug and soften your knees a bit. See if you might pull your hips back a little further with your inhale. And when you exhale, lift your hips to round your spine, wave forward toward plank. Lengthen your spine and then right away, bend your knees, begin to draw your hips back again toward Adho Mukha Svanasana. Sort of smooth that out as you exhale, wave forward toward plank. That's the bottom of your breath. Bend your knees and inhale, draw back, down dog. Exhale, wave forward once again, lengthen out. Bend your knees and draw back. This time, send your right leg back and up. And when you exhale, draw your right knee in toward your chest. Your hips are still tall, so you can step forward and bring your back knee down. Stay low, but send your heart forward, sort of broadening your collarbones. And then as you exhale, let your hips pull you back toward a half split shape, Ardha Hanumanasana. Again, like that, you can keep your hands down or reach your arms tall, Anjaniasana. Exhale, draw your hips back, fingers to the earth, or sweep them back alongside. One more like that, drop forward and up. Exhale, draw your hips back, extending. And this time as you come forward, let your left fingertips come down. Reach your right arm forward and then rotate your heart to the right, open up. Peel your right elbow toward the back of the mat, maybe even lean your heart back. Inhale, re-extend your right arm. Turn your heart back to the earth. Let your fingertips touch down. Tuck your toes behind you to lift your hips. Send your weight forward to step forward, fold, Uttanasana. Staying a moment this first time, again, just to find the earth beneath you. And also kind of extend that steadiness of the earth up through your legs to the center. A breath as if you could breathe in through your legs to center and an exhale of ease along your spine. Gather strength and inhale to lengthen your spine from center, unfurl, then fold back down over your legs. When you inhale, rise all the way to stand, Urdhva Hastasana, reaching tall. Peel both elbows wide, maybe a little bit of a lean back. Press through your feet, gather and reach tall, and then exhale to pour forward, fold, Uttanasana. A little half sun salutation. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Ride your inhale to stand. Reach tall. Peel elbows wide. Exhale. Inhale back through center. And exhale forward again. Once more like that. A little different. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Rise to stand. Peel elbows wide, rooted to the earth. 
reach tall, but from here, stay tall in your spine, but sink your hips back toward Utkatasana, chair pose. Press to your feet, lift the back of your heart, lengthen your spine, and then sweep your arms back, belly strong. Same again, push through your feet, reach tall. Exhale, sweep your arms back. This time as you stand up, bring your left knee toward your chest. So push through your right foot, left knee reaches up. And then exhale, press your left heel back as you sweep your arms back. Bend the standing leg and touch your toes to the back of the mat. Reach tall, crescent lunge. Feel yourself settle into the earth a little. And then hug through your legs to lift your heart. Once more, peel your elbows wide. Maybe there's that little bit of lean back, the back leg really strong. Inhale, reach tall. Listen from here, hinge forward, make a long line with your body. And here's where we travel across the mat. Turn all your toes to the left, travel across the horizon, all the way to the back of the mat. Turn all your toes that way, crescent lunge, reach tall. Let your hands fall down to earth, frame your left foot. And step back, downward facing dog, Ramukha Svanasana. Breath in. Breath out. Soften your knees. Let your hips draw back once again. Exhale, wave forward toward plank. Soften your knees, draw back. Send your left leg back this time. Curl in, knee toward your chest. Lift your hips to step forward. Let your back knee touch down. Hips can hang heavy, but let your heart shine forward. A little bit of... Uh, like a peeling open across your collarbones. With an exhale, let your hips draw you back, extending your left leg. Again, draw forward. Could stay low or reach your arms tall, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, draw back. Your hips draw back, maybe your arms alongside as well. Once more, draw forward, push through your left foot. Exhale, draw back through the hip creases. Come forward, bring your right hand to the earth, left arm forward and up, rotate your ribs. Peel your left elbow toward the back of the mat and kind of lean your heart, your head back. Stay open as you re-extend your left arm. Then turn toward the earth, bring both hands down. Tuck your toes to lift your back, knee to lift your hips and then pour your weight forward to step forward, Uttanasana once again. Breath in through your legs, breath out along your spine, root into the earth to lengthen your spine, exhale, fold, ride your inhale to stand, reach tall, exhale, again, peel elbows wide, open the heart this direction, inhale, reach up, and exhale, pour forward. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, fold, rise to stand. Elbows peel wide, a little lean back maybe. Root to the earth to reach tall, stay tall, but send your hips back, chair pose. Breathe to the back of your lungs between your shoulders. Sweep your arms back, belly strong. Inhale, reach tall, Utkatasana. Exhale, sweep back. Stand up, right knee toward your chest. Inhale, strong through that whole left side. As you exhale and sweep your right heel back, sweep your arms back. Bend your left leg. There's a little lift still to the back of your lungs. And then reach your toes to the back of the mat. Crescent lunge, reach tall. Settle a little. It's from that depth that you hug in and reach taller and then peel elbows wide. There's a hug through your arm bones as you reach tall. Hinge forward. Stay for an inhale. Get a little longer in your spine. Then travel across the mat. Turn your toes right. Shift your weight right. Turn to the front of the mat. Crescent lunge. Reach tall. Push through your right foot. Come back to earth. And step back once again, Aramukha Svanasana. 
downward facing dog. Find a breath in, breath out. Just that once more, full body breath. Exhale, hug through arms, legs, belly, bend your knees. Inhale, draws your hips back a bit. Lift and wave forward toward plank, extend your spine. Bend your knees, draw back, send your right leg back and up. Curl in knee toward your chest to step forward. This time, your back knee stays lifted. Your back leg stays strong and pretty much the same through this whole sequence, yeah? Draw your heart forward, though. Lengthen. Exhale, lift your hips back to extend your right leg a little or a lot. Here, too, as you lunge again, you could keep your hands low or reach tall, crescent lunge. Exhale, extends your front leg. Hands to the earth or sweeping back. The back leg stays strong. Inhale, lunge forward. Reach your heart forward. Exhale, sweep back. Right leg extends. Inhale, right arm to the sky. And twist open. Hug in through center, through your legs. Extend out across your wingspan. Find a breath in. Exhale, both hands spin down to earth, send your weight forward through standing split, press to your right foot to extend the left leg back. Bend both knees like you're drawing your left knee into your right. Inhale, extend both legs. Exhale, curl in, left knee behind the right. One more time, inhale, extend out. Listen, look forward, bend your right knee, reach your left toes to the back of the mat. We'll travel the mat a little lower to the ground this time. Turn your toes right. Shift your weight left. Stay here. Toes toward the side of the mat. Left leg is bent. And then begin to shift your weight to your right leg. Right leg bends. Skandasana. Shift your weight left. Left leg bends. Turn toward the back of the mat. Spin your back heel down. We're going to move toward warrior two, but moving on purpose. So just like the lunge, feel your legs hug in. Press down through both feet to rise and open up across your arms again. And here, instead of trying to wrench your hips toward the side of your mat, let them be sort of toward this top right corner of the mat. Yeah, give yourself some grace there. <laughs> Hug in through center, expand from there. Push through both feet to lift your heart, lift your left arm up and back. Exhale, hinge forward towards side angle. Keep all the space on the left side of your body. Stay with your inhale as if you could roll your right ribs back a little more. And then exhale back through warrior two. So no hurry, but we're moving with breath. A whole inhale to reach up and back. You've got your whole exhale to come forward and your inhale to enjoy that. Rotate, open up. Exhale, warrior two. Once more, up and back. This time, forward side angle or triangle. You could extend your left leg, trikonasana. Either way, you have that inhale to roll your right ribs back and open. And exhale through warrior two. Reach up and back. Then bring both hands to the earth to lift your hips and step back. Aramukha Svanasana. Breath in. Breath out, soften your knees, lift your hips back, inhale. Exhale, wave forward to plank. This time, stay there with your inhale. Lengthen yourself out, then lower all the way down to the mat. Press through your feet, draw your elbows back. Begin to lift from your belly, navel to spine. Then the back of your heart lifts toward cobra pose, bhujangasana. When you exhale, soften a bit, like your spine could exhale too. Keep the hug toward center. Inhale, lift the heart space. Exhale, soften. Same thing, or maybe this time you're lifting, hovering your hands and legs off the earth. Lift the back of your heart. Stay where you are for a breath. Expand. Stay lifted, but plant hands and feet. So you could press the earth away toward plank or tabletop. The downward facing dog once again. 
full body breath in and out. Soften knees, let your hips drop back. And as you exhale, wave forward, lengthen. Soften your knees, draw back, send your left leg back and up. Curl in to step forward. The back leg stays strong, send your heart forward. Lift your hips back to straighten your left leg any amount. Inhale, lunge forward, stay low or reach tall. Exhale, sweep your arms back, extend your left leg. Inhale, lunge forward. Exhale, draw your hips back. Inhale, lunge forward toward the twist. So your left arm swims up and back and pause here. Find that hug towards center that allows you to expand the steadiness of center in every direction. Space to breathe. Next, exhale, spin your hands down toward the earth. Pour your weight forward over your left leg to bring your right leg to the sky at any angle. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But expand through your right leg, extend through your heart forward. Then bend both knees, pull your right knee in. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, re-extend. Look forward a bit, bend your left leg more. Reach your toes to the back of the mat. Turn your toes right. This time, maybe you wanna hover your hands off the earth as you shift your weight right. And then shift your weight left. And to the right one more time, Skandasana. Turn toward the front of the mat. Spin your back heel down. And again, pause here to hug in and down through both feet to rise. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. <laughs> hug in through all your limbs. Extend from there. Root down to lift your heart, lift your right arm up and back. That back leg is strong as before. Hinge forward towards side angle. Stay long in your right side. Roll your left ribs back to open. When you exhale, it's warrior two. Inhale up and back. Exhale forward side angle. Stay with your inhale, but don't just stay. <laughs> Expand and then back through warrior two. Once more, up and back. Forward side angle or extend your right leg trikonasana. Either way, roll your left ribs back and open. Exhale is warrior two. Inhale, reach up and back, push through both feet. Both hands come down to earth. Again, pluck your right foot up and back. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog, breathe. A good time to come back to intention. Yeah, what are all these shapes for? As you soften your knees and draw back, wave forward toward plank and pause. Knees up or down, doesn't matter, but lengthen your spine and then lower yourself down in one piece. Hug in and down through your feet. Might walk your hands back just a bit to draw your elbows back and in. Inhale toward cobra pose. Lift from your belly, then to the back of your heart. Soften as you exhale. Same again, or shalabhasana. Lift hands and feet. Could even sweep your arms back. But when you exhale, soften a bit. Inhale, lift and stay for a breath. Hug in, expand. Stay lifted, but replant hands and feet. Press up to hands and knees or that plank shape. Downward facing dog once more. Full body breath in. Breath out. Soften your knees, draw back. Wave forward like you're coming toward plank, but then bend your knees. So you're in a tabletop shape, but hover your knees. Just to find that 
simultaneous hug in and lengthening through the center, through the spine. Then let your knees touch down. But keep the hug in as you walk your hands back toward your knees and then stand on your shins. Your hips are magnetized forward just a bit. You don't tuck under though, just down through your tail. Reach your fingertips tall. Hug into your arm bones toward each other. Do the same thing with your legs. Hug in with your legs, draw navel to spine. Keep that support as you peel your elbow points down and wide, hug your arm bones together to lift your heart up. Maybe there's a little lean back, tuck your chin toward your chest, draw back through your ears. Where you are, stay for a breath, keep the hug in, keep the length of your spine. Inhale, gather back up. And then your choice, you could do the same again, or move toward camel pose, reach forward. Bend your elbows along your sides. Draw them behind you to plant your hands to your sacrum. Hug in through your legs so the weight isn't in your hands. Hug in and up through center. And then again, you're choosing your adventure to lean back. Draw your chin along your chest to lengthen. But be where you could stay for two breaths. So if you can't breathe, you went too far. <laughs> and then climb your way back up. And then sit your hips to your heels. Take a moment. Let yourself settle. Notice again that you're supported. That there's space to breathe. And then as you're ready, stay tall as you can in your spine, but send um, both, send your hips to the right, your legs to the left, and then adjust your legs as before to this sort of pinwheel shape where your left thigh hugs or snugs into your right foot. Whatever kind of cuddling your legs wanna do, <laughs> let them do it. And we'll find once more just hug in and up through your spine. Get heavy through your left hip. Reach your knees up toward the ceiling and then over to the left. Up toward the ceiling and then over to the right. Maybe there's even a tiny bit of twist now. Toward the ceiling and over to the left. Stay here, maybe bringing a, your left hand to the floor, maybe not, to bring your right leg out to the right next to you. I gotta move back. Yeah, so your right leg is going straight out to the right. Again, this right hip is gonna try to lift, so settle it down as much as you can. Bring your right hand to the floor, to your thigh or your leg. Reach your left arm up, and then up and over to the right. Get a little longer through your torso on all sides if you can. Keep rolling your left ribs back. Then stay here, but let your eyes turn down toward your right leg. Press through your feet to rise back up. Bring your, right, your left hand down by your left thigh. I'm gonna lift up, so reach your right arm across your body. Press through your left shin, lift your hips. You could stay here, or you could keep reaching your arm all the way back behind you. But as you exhale, bring your hips back down. Retrace the path of your right arm. And then turn to face your right leg. So you're sort of continuing the slide around to the right. Press your left foot and right leg together and begin to twist over to the right. A breath to sit a little taller. And an exhale to soften a bit into the twist. Turn to face your right leg and then fold over it. 
And then just depending like what your energy needs to be for the rest of your time, you can just stay. If you need a little more movement, you could use a long inhale to sit tall and twist and a long exhale to fold forward. Either way, you got two more rounds of breath where you are. And then rise back up through center. Both, bring both feet to the floor again, press them into the earth, lift your spine. And then send your knees over to the right. Lean to the right maybe, your hand on the floor to bring your left leg out to the left. Sit tall, bring your right arm to the sky and then up and over to the left. Extend as much as you can, all sides. Stay that long. Just turn your gaze down toward the earth, toward your left thigh. Press through your feet to sit up. Bring your right hand down by your right thigh. Press into it, press into your right shin to lift your hips, reaching your left arm across, and maybe you keep tracing your left arm around behind you and then bring it back along that path to bring your hips back down to earth. Bring yourself all the way around to face your left leg, squeezing right foot and left leg together. Begin to twist your rib cage to the left. A breath in sits a bit taller. A twist softens. And then unwind that twist and fold over your left leg. And then again, you have this choice to stay here or to find a bit of pulsation with breath. A long inhale to rise and twist to the left. A long exhale to fold forward. But two breaths where you are. And then rise back through center. Once again, plant both feet on the earth. And it depends on where you wanna end up. Yeah, so if you're heading towards Shavasana, you'll go that way now. If you're heading toward a seat, you can go that way. I like to start by pressing my feet into the earth, lengthen my spine. And then to give a little cat spine round, you can even hang onto your shins as you pull your heart back. And you might do that two or three times until you feel like you're ready. Yeah, ready for stillness. Either laying onto your back, into a seat. You can grab any other support you need. Coming back to this awareness that you're supported. Connected. But alive and breathing and free. coming to this stillness, this sense of yoga, of connection. Allow yourself to be here.
And I encourage you to stay as long as you have in this supported state, aware of our interconnection. But I'll offer to you and with you, if you like, the sound of Om once more together. And if your voice doesn't join in, the sound moves through. It's a sound that honors our ancestors in this practice. A sound that honors where we carry our work, we carry this practice forward. And honors this moment between us. If you're joining me, find a breath in and back out. And toward Om, a breath in. from this place of resonance, place where we're the same, I bow to you. Love and gratitude for your presence in this practice and in this community. Hope to see you soon. Be well. <laughs>